Thousands of people joined an anti-fascist rally in Melbourne on Saturday calling for a stop to Islamophobia in the wake of the New Zealand massacre. Prayers were read and tears shed for the victims during Saturday's event outside Victoria's State Library to stand in solidarity with the Islamic community. While many people are still reeling from Friday's shooting, rally organiser Jasmine Ali told Daily Mail Australia she was very pleased with the turnout on Saturday. Ms Ali said it was wonderful to see people of all ages, backgrounds and nationalities stand shoulder to shoulder on the streets and show their support for change. The turnout reflects the broad sentiment felt by people, she said. She said stand together against racism is calling for an end to racist government rhetoric and policies that have led to vilification and violent attacks. The Islamophobia and racist rhetoric of Australia's coalition government has contributed to an atmosphere where vile attacks like the Christchurch shooting become possible, Ms Ali said. Ms Ali said the rally also highlighted the need to put an end to all forms of racism that is damaging indigenous, migrant, Muslim and refugee communities. She said this includes saying no to Islamophobia, no to the right, and stopping fear-mongering and scapegoating. Strangers also took flowers and messages of support to the Australian Islamic Centre, which is believed to have eased the fear among some members of the Muslim community who are too afraid to go into the city's mosques. Islamic Council of Victoria Secretary Mohammed Helmi was among the many voices calling for change at the event. This kind of hate rhetoric, it kills, Mr. Helmi told Nine News Melbourne. We can see this coming from the hate rhetoric being shared in the public domain, Mr. Helmi said. The rally was one of many protests of its kind held across the globe ahead of next week's International Day for the Elimination of Discrimination. A number of Melbourne's landmarks were lit up overnight in the New Zealand flag colours in a show of solidarity, including Flinders Street Station, the Town Hall and the State Library. Ms Ali said the turnout at Saturday's rally reflects the general feeling that the community is looking for immediate change 